And welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect with Friends. I am your host, Squee913, with guest today, Rebel. Say hi. Hi. Oh, and we are, um, dying. A lot. Yeah. We're good at that. Yes, apparently. Okay. Let's take out the <laughs> rocket troopers, folks. You do warp. You do that. I'll do that. There we go. That worked rather well. Yeah. You know, the only problem is now is they have to recharge. <laughs> yeah, I know. I I think I prefer the uh, shorter universal reload times of Mass Effect 2 over the extremely long individual reload times of uh, Mass Effect 1. Yeah. Look at that. Quick save. <laughs> wow. You know what button to press? I do. I have my moments. They're few and far between, but they do come. Whoa! <laughs> do not shoot pink balls of light at me. <laughs> ah, don't shoot yellow balls of light either. Stop it. Come on. All oh, those strange turquoise ones. Mommy! Ah, <laughs> uh, they won't stop firing things at me. Why? <laughs> Have you tried talking to them? No. Because we've got a quarry in with us. Right. <laughs> I'm surprised Talia's not like running headlong into it trying to bite them or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, taking off a mask just to get something back. <laughs> I don't care if it kills me! <laughs> I'm tasting gas tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I was explaining earlier, I don't know, a long time ago earlier, that uh, if you read the codex you find out that uh, they're all vegetarian by necessity, it's just not efficient to, you know, raise livestock. Yeah. So when they go to different worlds, they'll uh, they'll buy meat paste and that's like their alcohol. <laughs> because they're not used to it, they get kind of high off of it, and they'll get hangovers from it. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a, a pretty neat touch, isn't it? I thought so. So I uh, in Mass Effect Two, I went up to the Tali, offered her some meat paste, and said, "Let's go do something with regret in the morning." Uh, <laughs> she, she didn't accept really. All right, this Aww. would be an excellent time to quick save. To quick save, yeah, it would be. <laughs> you know what? This would also be an excellent time to go. Because <laughs> it'll save me that extra five steps. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. I always do that on this part because I don't want to walk those extra steps. Because I know I'm going to die a lot. And you know what will happen now? We won't die. Yeah, right. Because I save so often. Go yeah. figure. I don't get this part of the movie, because you can see that thing moving, and yet none of them track it with their weapons. Right, or shoot it. It's... Yeah. As a shepherd, you pull the trigger there. Right there, that one. Oh, hey, red beams. Don't like those. All right. Let's do... All right. What do you okay. want to do? What do you think I should take out first? Um, why well, take be out playing those ones like that are you. running towards you? Alright, because I'm supposed to be playing like you, so really I'm blaming the deaths on you. I don't know, that's okay. Alright, let's do overload. Um, let's do warp on him. Yep. And then I'll just go barrier for now. Barrier, yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, another one. I tend to ignore the armature until last, because as long as you're quick enough, you can avoid. Um... Right. Oh, do I have throw? I do. There we go. Very useful for those buggers. Yeah. Okay, now My let's... favorite thing is getting Liara to use singularity on stuff. Oh, yes, those are fun. All right. Let's do... Hacking doesn't work on that. Not yet. Well, I don't know. Can you ever hack those? 
don't think um, so. I don't know. I've, I think I've only used hacking once and it didn't work. I know you can't <laughs> in Mass Effect 2 because there's only one of them and it didn't work. I tried so hard. <laughs> to have my own little colossus. However, um, I did find that you can hack the flamethrower next to him and that works almost as well. Yeah. Yeah, flamethrower taking on a colossus. That was fun. Right? I, I was very surprised at that myself. <laughs> I think something. To, I think it had something to do with you boosting his shields every five seconds. Yes. Well, ha hacking, like it, uh, I said in the game, it's useless most of the time. But on some levels, it is just godly. Yeah. When you get it fully leveled up and you can just continuously hack something, it's like they have infinite shields. Yay! See, we didn't die once. Overlord is the same too. I just find some sort of Geth Prime, hack it, and let it go. Yeah. You're right, it's because we saved so many times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you might want to save here as well. <laughs> well, it did it for me. Alright. These always reminded me of those, uh, those ventilation tubes under Cloud City in the second Star Wars movie. Like, you yeah. just expect to see Luke sliding past you. <laughs> holding his hand, or where his hand used to be. Yeah. And then oh, just turn around and shoot him. I just yeah, remembered. Make the story a lot more entertaining. I just remembered. Um, I don't know if you guys have that. Do you guys watch Robot Chicken? Whoa. Watch what? Sorry. Robot Chicken. No. I don't I've know if you know what that is. Heard of it. All right. Um, it's a uh, it's an American show. You know who Seth Green is? He does the voice of Joker. Yep. He he and this other guy do this show called Robot Chicken, where they take uh action figures and they basically do stop animation and they do funny little skits with them like they'll make fun of G.I. Joe or Star Wars or something and they um, every so often they release a Star Wars episode and they're releasing a new one Sunday they're absolutely hilarious you should find them online their Star Wars episodes are beyond funny uh, I'll have a look on you on YouTube later just, just to do Star Wars robot chicken and you'll find tons of them <laughs> It'll have things like, uh, you know, when Luke cuts the belly of that walker and throws the grenade in it. Yeah. It shows the inside, it's the restroom, and there's a stormtrooper on the toilet, and he looks at the grenade and goes, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a good one, I quite like that. Ah! Out of the way, Rex. Oh, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. I'm so far behind. You're still in the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Well, it'll be a nice surprise for you then, won't it? <laughs> it'll be like, um, well, in about 30 seconds, you're going to find out I died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to go, oh, crap, I died. And I'm going to go 10 minutes later. You did what, sorry? When? <laughs> oh, there we go. We've left the Normandy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They were like, yeah, how do you die on the Normandy? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Whoa, this is really laggy. Hey. We're talking to Liara, are you up with me or Oh we no. Um Can you hear me I'm just, just on the cutscene. Alright, hang on a second. Well, I'm looking at the screen now. Alright, what do you want? Okay, um, we hear you. Are you okay? What happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? Alright, you're looking kind of blue. You need to breathe. Breathe. <laughs> <laughs> no, Shepard, she, um, she's supposed to be blue. <laughs> she's an Asari. Oh, right, right. Um, we can't reach you. There's some kind of propulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned yes. on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out. That's please. what you get for pushing buttons you don't know. Yeah, bloody scientists. <laughs> um, you brought this on yourself. You shouldn't have been messing Because I'm nice like that. You don't understand. I wasn't going to let the Geth capture me. Besides, I know how it works. Mostly. Clearly. Yeah, I was gonna, just going to say that. Deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. 
I know, a massive mining laser. Gee, I sure wish I had one behind me. <laughs> Stop bagging. There's a Krogan with me too. What's your point? <laughs> it's like, besides, I know how it works, mostly. Don't you get sniffy with me, Missy. I'll leave you right here. <laughs> I'll leave you here in your little pool. Go for a swim. Yeah, it does, it does look like a um, pool the wrong way up, doesn't it? Yeah. Like Shepard's like talking to Tally. Are you sure she's supposed to be blue? Yes, Shepard. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you need that suit, Tally? <laughs> That'd be sad if Shepard's like always like making fun of her, like, hey, Tally, we're going for a swim. You want to. Oh, right. <laughs> Isn't there a sniper over the back? Yes, I think you're right. Yes. Well, let's go take him out with a shotgun, shall we? Because that's what you do when you see a sniper. <laughs> of course. You shoot him with that sh shotgun. Oh, it, my mouse went off the screen again. <laughs> Completely ruined my whole purpose of coming down there. <sighs> and now you're poisoned. I don't know, there's or so, there's chemical some, or whatever it's called. There's something poetic about killing a sniper with a short range weapon. <laughs> it is quite funny. Uh, are these random or do they just. are they the same every time? No, 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 no. Each puzzle has different. Uh, well, you know, I don't know if, like, this particular puzzle is the same every time because I don't have the attention span to find out. No. Uh, no. I think Liara is brilliant at this. How did how did you get past the barrier? You can't um, see. <laughs> oh, maybe. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, how did you do it? Well, you see, lasers superheat material until it melts. And, <laughs> and up we go on this Prothean elevator that we've got no idea how it works. Hey, hey, Rex! Your 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 forehead plate looks like it's on fire. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, Shepard. It's red. How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. The superior firepower. We blasted Come on. through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please <laughs> get me out of here before more Geth arrive. Are you sure she's not just not breathing? breathing? Yeah, are you positive her lips are her lips are gone purple. Her mother's <laughs> I am not my mother. We know you're not your mother. I don't know why <laughs> Benezia joined Saren. I don't want anything to do with that Turian bastard. If you were your mother, we'd be calling Ooh. you Benezia, not Liara. God, she's not that <laughs> smart. Um, <laughs> just funny. let her out. Shepard's like, God, she's not that smart. And, and Tali's like, just don't talk to me, Shepard. Just don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, let her out. If she was with Saren, the Geth wouldn't be trying to kill her. No shit, Shepard. <laughs> Way to go, genius. I think that should be a new one. It shouldn't be no shit Sherlock. It should be no shit Shepard. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Any idea how we get out of this place? Up. There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. <laughs> oh, God. The Protean expert doesn't know what to do. Yeah, given your track record, I'm not sure we should trust you. It's probably a self-detonation device for the planet. Right? It's probably like a liquidizer. Yeah. I think some of the stuff in this game is quite funny, because you get Shepard, who is a vanguard, and he has no idea of any kind of technology at all. Right. And he knows what button to press on a Protean security device. Like, what the hell? Well, I guess you could say maybe the beacon told him. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't understand the visions, does he? No. Um, we, we're getting out of here. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, commander, secure and away. He's not panicking at all. He's fine. <laughs> yeah. If I die in here, I'll kill him. <laughs> Joker, beware. so simple about these things, isn't he? Uh, Talia's like, so what are you guys doing? 
why are you particularly, <laughs> what, what are you, this is uncomfortable, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like tally sandwich, no. <laughs> oh, this can be a tough fight. I love this one. Because we're going to die so many times. <laughs> When was the last time you saved? <laughs> uh, it automatically saves on the elevator. Alright, right, okay, sorry. Um, kill this bastard. We don't have time to deal with this idiot. Charge! <laughs> hey! And Rex is like, yeah! Like your attitude. And Liara yeah, just thanks. kneels. Whoa, nice position, Liara. Right. It froze just when she started crouching down with her arms by the side. That was quite fun. Uh, hang on, um... Let's do... actually... Let's go him, and we'll both hit him with warp. That's not warp. <laughs> warp, I said. I still have my shotgun up. That's probably not good. No. Ah! Ah! It's a ah, range, but ah, not a... Ah. Boom! I don't like Krogan's You've heard of a little thing me. called barrier? I thought of that just now. <laughs> Oh, hi there! Ah! It's fight, fight. <laughs> ah! Heal me! Medigel! You're my only friend! It's awesome being 10 seconds behind. Well, I could give you commentary of what's going on. Right now, we're <laughs> getting our butts kicked. <laughs> That's about oh, all yeah, you need so to you know. Oh, and Dolly's dead. Yeah, oh, well. fuck She'll get over it. Yay! <laughs> I didn't die. That cutscene. I always think that cutscene is Because they're shielding their eyes. It, there should be a massive bright flash of light or something. Right? Like, Shepard, what are you shielding your eyes from? It's... It's so beautiful. <laughs> So dark. <laughs> <laughs> I was using the light from my hand to see better. What? <laughs> Shepard, your hand has no light. Really? Oh, I thought I was a husk with those nice LED lights. <laughs> no, he's like, you guys don't see lights around your hands? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I like how everyone else just keeps going, but Shepard, who's supposed to be the train specter, is like, Yeah, I was gonna say. Hang on a second, folks. <laughs> you guys, you guys keep going. I'll, I'll catch up. <laughs> Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Norman is not equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Melt our hull. Just for future reference. Almost died I was laughing so hard the first time I heard that. <laughs> Um, I've never actually tried the renegade option here, so let's go for that just because I'm interested. All right. Sometimes Joker's a real ass. Just try to ignore him. I see. <laughs> it must be a human thing. No, it's not a human the same thing every time. <laughs> it's not a human <laughs> thing. He's just an ass. You saved my life. That's pretty universal against all the species. The yeah, like that Turian counselor. <laughs> right. What did Saren want? With At least Joker you doesn't do air quotes. Conduit. <laughs> Only the are connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I'm sorry, is your chair uncomfortable? Should we get you another one? <laughs> <laughs> um, you're wasting your time. Like she does that a lot, like like she, her underwear's in a bunch or something, and she's like trying to adjust. It's like Liara, come on. <laughs> yeah, that's why that's why she's got the interest in Shepard. <laughs> what? <laughs> Official underwear adjuster. <laughs> <laughs> that's all she cares for about. Yeah. Yeah, she's looking for protein. She's interested in protein techniques of how to adjust our underwear. I've heard every theory out there. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to stop that there, actually. Right. <laughs> I've heard every theory out there. Ooh, I bet you haven't heard this one. It is only because someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. I wonder who that might be. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. 
This cycle began long before them. <laughs> I was just thinking. She's like, I've heard every theory out there. Oh yeah? Did you hear the theory about the pink bunnies that ate them all mercilessly? And she's like, <laughs> no. He's like, aha, well then you haven't heard them all. She's like, that's not a real theory. He's like, yes it is. I, I just made it up. <laughs> so, ha. Alright, um... Um, we're in a hurry. Alright. Get to the point. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only yeah, survive. like human history. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest mm, achievements, not quite human history, the mass but... relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those Deodorant. who came before them. <laughs> and then, like all the other yeah. forgotten civilizations, that's why she's shifting around, is because Rex needs some deodorant. <laughs> Old Spice wasn't made by the Protheans? <laughs> what? Shut up and I'll tell you. You're not much of an expert, Doctor. The answer's been standing in front of you the whole time. The Protheans were wiped out by a race of machines. Oh, come on, Shepard. How could she have known that? She didn't have a, the, the same bacon the you did. But I have never heard of <laughs> What evidence do you have? That's going to be a recurring theme throughout this whole Let's Play, isn't it? <laughs> yep. What evidence do you have? I saw a vision. Um, yeah, a vision. <laughs> it's like, yeah, when I said evidence, I meant like, you know, reports or writings, <laughs> not illusions in your head, but whatever. <laughs> there was a damaged Protean beacon on Eden Prime. Yeah, like Saren says, are we allowing dreams into evidence here? She's like, do you know how the scientific process works yes, exactly? that makes sense. Scientific what, sorry? <laughs> Shepard's like, uh, is that something you kill people with? I don't know. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were yeah. only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information Oh, I thought the Geth were there for the double-A batteries. Unclear. <laughs> I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. I get the feeling you're yeah, amazed yeah, you by a lot of things. <laughs> of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the conduit, or Saren. Again, I've never tried the renegade option, so can we go with so what good are you? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we wasted our time here. Wait, Commander. <laughs> Saren might try another attempt on my life. I feel safer if you let me stay on your ship. Besides, my knowledge of the Protheans might prove useful later. Please let me stay, please. Come in handy when the fighting starts. Whoa, I've never seen Garrus say that before. No, it's always Rex that said it. Right, that's unusual. Um, well, the renegade option is a tad xenophobic, and yes. yeah, let's go for the you can come option. We've already got every other non-human species on board. Ooh, Not no, I don't like that one either. Sorry to the team. Mm. Well, it, he's not really saying it in a mean way. He's more like, nah. I'm but I you agree. might as well get representatives of everyone. Right. The last time you ate or slept, Dr. Chuck I guess that could be taken both ways. That could be taken as the, well, what the hell? We already got everyone else here. <laughs> or it could be, yeah. a, it could be, a, well, it'd be nice to have one of everyone. Still, it could not hurt to be. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here? At least it appeals to everyone, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, that's all for now. Go see the doc. The rest of you, dismiss. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Yes, because I want to disconnect them. <laughs> nice. Through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. I know what I'm doing, you stupid Turian. Don't tell me how to do my job. Yeah. You yeah, you tell him, Shepard. Our role is to offer guidance and advice. It's up to you Go paint your face. To listen. Ooh, oh, I do not like people questioning my oh. intelligence. Disconnect. I don't need this. <laughs> Communications cut, Commander. <laughs> nice. nice. I like it, I like it, I don't know how many times you have to do it, but at a certain point he's like, uh, you do it, and then, uh, Joker's like, that never gets old.
<laughs> I think there's a codex entry, by the way. Oh, where? Oh, yes, yes, I think you're right. Oh, no, actually, I think the favorite is uh, when the council goes, uh, <laughs> are you playing with us? Are you just going to disconnect? And the shepherd's like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we're going to disconnect again. I love this game. All right. Uh, um, where to, actually? Oh, Joker. All right. As in Mass Effect 2, and I think they did quite well with Joker, because he has these awesome funny comments on them. Uh, I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. You sure you want that? If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. Fun, fun. <laughs> That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this baby. <laughs> no medal's worth that. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? Ah, uh, let's go. Alright. I have to go. Alright. Adios, muchachos. Uh, we already talked to the, everyone once this session, so we'll just wait for the next guest to do that. Um, yeah. Where do you want to go? You want to do some side missions? You want to do head straight to a... Um... Oh, God, you present me with options again. Yep. Uh, let's go. Can we have a look in the inventory quickly? A uh, journal, rather. Sure. Hang on. Before we do that, we go, should go ahead and... No, we can do the look in the journal first. All right. Uh, oh, we got to level up. Uh, oh, let's, wait, let's wait until we have team members before we do that. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, you want to look at assignments? Yeah. Okay. We got quite a few. Uh, mm, host. We have hostage. We have the host. missing survey team. Usual readings. Hostile takeover. Um, what's the missing survey team? Uh, we're, okay. Uh, uh, news vids indicate a survey team in the Hades Gamma Cluster recently dropped out of contact. Go to the Hades Gamma Cluster and find out what happened to them. Um, yeah, let's go and do that. Alright, Hades Gamma Cluster. So, uh, the Antaeus. Antaeus. Alright. Sounds right. like a plan. Okay. Alright, but before we do that, let's go ahead and end this episode here, folks. Thanks for watching, and join me next time.